What's up, YouTube? I hope everyone is doing well. Now, for as far back as I remember, I've always wanted to make my own PCBs. PCBs or printed circuit boards, as the name suggests, are these boards that you find inside electronic gadgets and they hold the electronic components together. I'm pretty sure that everyone watching this video has seen a PCB before. Perhaps you did not know what it is called. Now, I know that there's so many videos out there that show how you can make PCBs at home, but I'm still very excited because I get to try this out for the very first time. So the board that is used to make PCBs looks like this. Now, this is known as a single-sided blank, and that is because it has a layer of copper only on one side. Now, commercially made boards can be much more complicated like this one and have multiple layers, but for simple DIY work, a board like this should be sufficient enough. So I'll be trying out two of the methods that I've seen other people use in their videos to transfer the design onto the PCB. The first method is a heat transfer method and that is why I have this flat iron here. And the second method is heatless and it involves the use of nail polish remover. You know, the one that the ladies use for their nails. Enough with the talking, let's go. Thank you. 